Hello everybody, I am back with uh, kind of an update on my motor situation. I've got these two coils going now, uh, where I was talking about I was getting ready for that. Uh, I, I tuned them separately uh, with the resistance and everything so that I knew I was, that they both worked basically before I hooked them both up. Um, Pretty much right now, I got uh, what about 80, what 86 ohms on one of the coils and like 122 ohms on the other. So they're pretty close. I I tuned them with uh, these 25 ohm pots. I got two of them on each circuit. Uh, basically, what I've got going is two separate Bedini circuits. Uh, with the the battery charging output connected together so the the output diode um, sides are both going together and they're both using the same battery source or in my case I'm I'm using a, a PC power supply right now but uh, let me show you what's going on and I'll keep talking here let's see uh, the power supply is completely disconnected. I've had the um, battery I'm charging off for about an hour and it's settled at about 12.04 and that's that dead one that I've been trying to revive and it's taking forever but I keep gaining on it. I, it was about 11.80 yesterday or the day before. I'm not doing this constantly. I usually let the thing run maybe, you know, eight hours or some at a time. And then I start playing again. Anyway, uh, power supply is connected. Turn it on. But I wanted to show you how easy this thing starts uh, again. Uh, look at that. All I gotta do is just give it a little, a little wiggle. I go in the opposite direction that it likes to go, and it just starts right up. Let me try and do that little wiggle. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I think. Anyway, uh, now you can see that um, when I just had one coil going, I was charging it about, um, about 97 or so milliamps and I was drawing about 430 so now I'm drawing 770 and I'm putting in about 160 uh, one thing I gotta mention is that I blew this motor it actually just sheared the, the pin of it just sheared what I was running yesterday so there's the inside of a hard drive motor, if you've never seen it. <laughs> well, this thing just sheared right off. So I replaced it with another motor I, I had lying around with the same type. So, But anyway, that, that affected my gap. So I don't think my gap is exactly the same as my other results. And the gap definitely changes things. So I've kind of had to start from square one. But anyway. Uh, I wanted to show you that, especially just how easy this darn thing uh, starts up. <laughs> I mean, if you spin it in the direction you want, it doesn't take anything. But it's kind of cool when it does the little pulsing thing there. Okay, let's see, here's something else I want to talk to you about. Uh, Oh, I had mentioned before that these diodes here were fast switching. I, I'm, I don't think they are, but these guys are a higher amperage. They, they can take, I think, like 12 amps or something. And uh, they take less juice for the switching. So I don't know if that equates to their fast switching, but they're, they take... You can look at the data sheet, but they take less 
juice to make them fire than the 407 or 4007s do. So, and on the same note, um, here are a couple of shocky diodes. There's basically two diodes in one, and I, I've been using just half, uh, just half of it in this circuit on other attempts and I, I think these work better and these definitely are fast switching diodes here I know that for sure uh, but um, I think these work a little better and I'm gonna put these in instead of these diodes and uh, see what results I get out of that but anyway um, let me see Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention is, again, I mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention it again, is that you can see when we started, we were at like 12.04 volts, and that's what this thing settled out at over time. And, you know, so when you're charging the thing, it doesn't necessarily read what the battery voltage really is. There might be a way to do that. I thought I saw a video somewhere, but I never looked at it. It explains how you can do that. I don't know how to do it, but um, so when you're charging these things, you got to go higher than where you ultimately want to end up. Anyway, that's uh, all I wanted to show you guys. Oh well, wait a minute. One more thing. Let's spin this the other way. Oh, hold on. Spinning this the other way, I, I, I gotta switch my multimeter over here real quick. So it draws too much current. Gotta switch to the 10 amp mode. Alright, now, rotate it the other way. And you can see now, um, it's putting 270 milliamps into the battery and it's drawing 1 amp. So that's that's the difference right there. Uh, just rotating it in the, in the opposite direction. Like I said, I still haven't done those ratios and stuff, but uh, it almost seems like I'm getting a little more juice out of it in ratio-wise than the current draw, even though it's drawing more. So uh, anyway, that's about it. Thanks, guys. See you later. Or, right, gals, everybody. See you. Bye.